Hello, Christ is in our midst. I'm Father Kevin Long of St. Elias, St. Joachim Orthodox Church in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Today is Saturday, July 23rd, 2022, and here are the readings for today. The first reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 9, verses 1 through 5. Brethren, I'm speaking the truth in Christ. I am not lying. My conscience bears me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great sorrow and unceasing anguish in my heart. For I wish that I myself were accursed and cut off from Christ for the sake of my brethren, my kinsmen by race. They are Israelites, and to them belong the patriarchs, and of their race, according to the flesh, is the Christ, who is God over all, blessed forever. Amen. And today's Gospel reading is from the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 9, verses 18 through 26. At that time, a ruler came in and knelt before Jesus, saying, My daughter has just died, but come and lay your hand on her, and she will live. And Jesus rose and followed him with his disciples. And behold, a woman who had suffered from a hemorrhage for twelve years came up behind him and touched the fringe of his garment, for she said to herself, If I only touch his garment, I shall be made well. Jesus turned, and seeing her, he said, Take heart, daughter, your faith has made you well. And instantly the woman was made well. And when Jesus came to the ruler's house, and saw the flute players and the crowd making a tumult, he said, Depart, for the girl is not dead, but sleeping. And they laughed at him. But when the crowd had been put outside, he went in and took her by the hand, and the girl arose. And the report of this went through all the district. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. So today I would like to talk about actually three different healings. Two are mentioned in this particular passage, and then the third is the servant of the centurion. In all three cases, you have a difference in how the healings took place. For the young girl, he took her by the hand and she arose because of his direct touching of her. The woman with an issue of blood, all she needed to do was touch the hem of his garment and she was made whole. And then for the third, the servant of the centurion was healed at a distance because of the conversation that our Lord had with the centurion. So all three show the immense power of God in Christ. Christ is able to heal at a distance. He is able to heal because of the faith of a woman reaching out and touching the hem of his garment. And he is able to bring life back to the child merely by touching her hand. This shows that our Lord is a healer, and regardless of the physical space or the impediments that may exist between our Lord and those who are receiving the blessing, but also it shows his mastery over the physical world, that he can do whatever he wishes to, whatever way he chooses to. It's also a commonplace, as you may know, that the mourners that were gathered around the house where the daughter had died, um, that was actually a paid position in those days. Professional mourners would come to amplify the lamentations for the person who had passed away. But our Lord doesn't bring lamentations, and he tells those lamenters to be on their way because their services are no longer required because our Lord is bringing life back to that lifeless girl and bringing joy back to the family because as we all know, there's nothing worse than a parent having to deal with a child who has died. So our Lord brings mercy, our Lord brings healing, our Lord brings life. These are very key elements in our understanding of who Jesus Christ is. He is the master of all and he brings light and life to those who have been living in darkness and in suffering. So because of his great and abundant mercy for us all, we give thanks to our God for all the different things that we have received because of him. And we give thanks to God always 
for his tremendous love. And may God bless and keep you and those that you love today and always. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Thank you very much for joining me today. I pray you have a great day. God willing, we'll see you tomorrow.